Hey everyone, Coach Iva back again with The Brain Rewired. And tonight I wanna to talk to you about dreams. I'm not talking about the dreams that you have at nighttime. I'm talking about those dreams, those ideas, those visions that you carry inside of you that are just kind of simmering under the surface. And, you know, maybe you think about them when you sit and daydream. Um, you think things like, you know, if I had all the time and money in the world, or if my life were different, here's what I do, those kinds of things. Um, and I heard a statement a long time ago that said, uh, graveyards are some of the richest places in the world because that's where dreams go to die. And it that statement just really caught my attention because I believe that there is some truth to that. I believe that uh, for multiple reasons, people don't really pursue those things, those ideas that they carry that really could be solutions that our world needs today. And if you are listening to this, I believe that God's given you something, that a dream, that vision, that idea to solve a problem. And it's the thing to remember is that these dreams are not about selfish pursuits, but it's about uh, creating solutions uh, for people around us, for the world around us, and impacting the world around us. And so, um, you know, when we think about you know, our history in our nation and how today we're experiencing the benefits, so many benefits of people in the past that have taken a dream, an idea, and they've done something about it. So for example, some very well-known ones like the Model T, you know, Henry Ford, he had an idea to mass produce uh, vehicles that were affordable for the middle class. And now today it's no big deal for everybody to be driving a car. Um, he was very integral into making that shift in our nation. Um, and then, you know, like the Wright brothers for the aviation industry, you know, we get on a plane and we fly all over the world like it's no big deal. But it started with a dream, an idea in somebody's heart. And Thomas Edison with the light bulb and the thing that stands out to me so much about him is through trial and error over and over and over again. Um, you know, he finally got to the light bulb and which we use every day in our world today. It is such a needed thing that we use in our life. And we don't always stop to think about that, right? But it is the reality. And um, I believe that, you know, even in the world that we're living in today with so much innovation happening with AI and, you know, people are, they're tapping into those dreams, those ideas, could this work? And so maybe you're like uh, uh, on a team at work that's working on a project and you have an idea, a creative idea how to solve a problem. I wanna encourage you to push it out. Bring it before the team and say, hey, could this work? It may or may not work, but that's okay. And that's the reality about dreams is that there's always risk involved when we take a step towards seeing a dream become a reality. And some of us are a little bit more risk averse than others. I know I don't really like risk. It makes me uncomfortable. And yet the more I've stepped out in faith and taken risk, the more that I have seen the power of that and how transformative it is, even in my own life. And I remember way back when I was still thinking about pursuing this dream to become a coach. Uh, one of the first things I did was I invited a friend over to my house and I said, hey, I just need to process this dream with you. I have these ideas. I had multiple dreams kind of simmering inside of me and I didn't really know which one to pursue. And she was so kind and she just listened to me she was that safe sounding board for me. She affirmed me that it's okay to have dreams. And I was like, oh my goodness. And it was really out of that place in that moment where I began to take steps towards seeing my dream become a reality. And I'm still doing that. I'm still step by step, you know, taking steps of faith, believing that, you know, I will continue to pursue those dreams, those visions that God has given to me. And that's really my heart and my desire for you. I don't know where you're at today. Maybe you're pursuing a dream and you're excited about what's happening in your life. Or maybe you're just like, I don't know. I've got multiple dreams. Maybe like me, you have multiple dreams that you carry in your heart. You're like, I don't know which direction to go. I feel a little frozen. Is there one of these that I should pursue? I don't know. Um, then I just want to encourage you. Find a friend, somebody who's safe and trustworthy. Don't go to somebody who might trample all over your dreams because there is a sacredness about those dreams that we carry. And so there's a lot of wisdom in not just telling anybody. So find somebody that feels safe for you to share that dream, to begin to process it and affirm you in that. 
and then begin to take action towards it. Um, and as always, I always leave my link in the comment section. If you want to talk to somebody, I just you can set up for a free 30 minute call with me. And uh, I would love to support you in helping you pursue those dreams, those ideas that are stirring within your heart as well. All right, thank you so much for joining me tonight and we will talk again soon. Bye for now.